historic Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. Saturday afternoon action on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Boston Red Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So, almost ready to get underway and getting the start for the Red Sox, Cutter Crawford. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Luis Renjifo. So, ready to roll here at Fenway. Edge of the zone, call the strike. And that's how this game gets started. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. And now it's even one and one. In the air, right field. O'Neill getting an angle on it. He's got it. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And now, Mickey Moniak. Hey! Down the middle for a strike. Going one. One, one. Moniak in his third season, batting second in today's lineup, a former first round pick back in 2016. One down, base is empty. Oh, and misses inside. inside. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Monia tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Mike Trout. First pitch just misses. Righty to the plate. Ball two. That one in there to Mike Trout. Two outs. Not three close ball, with that three. one. And that's ball three. Three that's one, and he couldn't come up with it. You can stomach a two out walk to certain players, that but with his speed, the left this guy three. out there on the base pass, it could turn Taylor. into two or three bases. Ward. Taylor Ward now at the plate. Just missed. Trap off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. Nice change up. One ball, one strike. Yeah, that's outside. And it's two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Throw to first, hey. and diving back is Trout. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And there's a ball. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, 
He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And there's a rocket into the outfield. The throw to third. And the throw's offline, safe at third. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Miguel nope. Sano, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Way two high ball. there. And the count is two and two. The pitch. On the ground. Save. Fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. Well, that's a really tough play no matter who you are, but I think he has a chance to get him at first if he's just able to get that throw off a little quicker. It looked like he took one extra step to set himself and get a grip on the ball. First and second, two outs. Brandon Drury to the plate. Right through there for a strike. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And the pitch. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Generally, not the type of great play you expect from a first baseman, but he does a great job of hauling that one down. We're back here at Fenway Park getting the nod in this one Tyler Anderson anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man it's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can he is going to be very tough for the opponent today Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Check out the Red Sox lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Jaron Duran. Big time speed here, Boog. A guy with just terrific wheels and an absolute nightmare for opposing pitchers when he's on base. I mean, players like this who have elite speed, it's like disruptive technology on the base paths. Man, can't wait to watch him run. Pop foul out of play off to the right. And now the lefty. Yeah. Swing and a miss as he was late. No ball, two strikes. Next offering upstairs. It's a good take. One out, base is empty. And another ball. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Sano drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. And there are two outs. Batting third. The third baseman. Rafael. Devers now. Devers. Devers. 
and that gets the inside corner for a strike. Sometimes pitchers work him backwards, starting with the breaking ball, but it's a tricky approach. He almost wants to bait you out there to throw that stuff to start the at bat. Just off the okay. outside edge, and the count is one and one. Two out, space is empty. Outside. On the ground, right side, Rangifo gathers and throws to first. And Devers is set down. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Fedway, new inning getting started. Here's Joe Adele. Joe Adele. The wide to kick the pitch. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound. Maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. The 1-1. One, one. Oh. And a good eye there. Last couple of pitches breaking Four balls three. away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. 2-1 now. And that's a strike. <laughs> Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle, so I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. First pitch misses. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. of the zone for a strike and it's three and one singing what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters I'd say off the plate away and down and why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball O'Neill snags it out number two the shortstop Zach so two down now and here is Zach Neto Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. The yep. shortstop takes a ball. That one the other way. Base hit into right field. And that keeps the inning alive. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Checks over to first, back safely. Next to hit, Luis Rangifo. That one finds the zone. 0-1. Two outs. Good yep, eye right the there. Out. Late with the swing there. One ball, two strikes. Neto leads off first with two down to the inning. 
That one a little bit high. It's two and two. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. Next pitch count. misses, and it's a full count. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. That one ripped. And there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits for this now team. Back. Showed a willingness like to drive that pitch the opposite Mickey. way. Didn't get jumpy. Moody didn't out. try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now Mickey Moniak. Nope. Just missed. Two on, two outs. Oh, and that misses off the outside edge. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that is that. Angels strand a couple. They lead it 1-0. Half of inning number two. Oh, now batting time. Tristan Casas. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The lefty fires. And delivers outside. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a one-two again. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. And he deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Anderson ready to work. This one in the air right field. Monia in position. Makes the grab. And there's one away. Batting good. Not shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Romy Gonzalez. And there's the strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Oh and two now. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, pretty big contrast in that at bat. First couple of pitches down in the zone, and those are competitive pitches, so you have to respect it as a hitter. And then with two strikes, ran that fastball by him up high, and there was just no catching up. Pablo Reyes stands in. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. 
And that one popped to short, moving under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Red Sox go down quietly. They trail here, one nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And now batting Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Crawford back to work. And a strike in there. You know, these Angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And the right-hander deals. Off the mark there. Now one and two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Ground ball right side, and that's a fair ball! And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. It's a leadoff double to start the third. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. And now here is Taylor Ward. And he's already singled in this game. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Love how now he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Miguel Sano. Just one. missed. Ball one, no strike. Runners at the corners, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Right-hander kicks deals. That's a ball. And another ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Gonzalez toss the second, and a run scores on the double play. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here, so that double play... It's pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. The center fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. Here's a speed threat. Joe Adele. He's 0 for 1. Now a pop up on the infield. Casas. As this one sized up, brings it in for the third out. But they push across one run, three hits, no errors, and a runner left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. Angels 2 and the Red Sox nothing. As we go to the last of the third, here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. There's the strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. That misses the zone. And one and one. Here comes a pitch. 
And that's downstairs and outside. Next pitch is inside. And now three and two. Got him. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. That one misses. One and oh. The Halos up by two here in the last half of the third. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And there's two away. Batting none. The second baseman. Two outs, Today. base is empty. Sidane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. There's a strike. 0 oh 1. Two down, nobody on. In the air, right field, on his way in. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the inning. Back here in Boston, and now the catcher comes up to him. Matt Theis. The wind of the pitch. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. And a pitch. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Devers makes the catch. And there's one down. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation, even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. Neto takes low second trip to the plate in this one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The pitch. The shortstop takes a ball. That one misses, and now it's three and two. Bases empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Line drive, base hit. The batter number two, second baseman, Luis. Back to the top of the Angels lineup, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So digging in, Mickey Moniak. That one catches the zone. It's 0 and 1.
Neto at second, Rangifo at first, one gone. Just inside off the forward. inside edge, movement in the bullpen. Number 63 getting loose out there. Two on, one out. Good Go eye in that spot. It's a big opportunity right Good here, one. but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And here it comes. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one hops the wall. One run is in. Row cut off. Now to the plate. Save. And it's 4-0. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's Trout. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. That clips a corner. All ones the count. The 0 1. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. That pitch gets the inside corner. And that is strike two. Runner at second here, one gone. That one just misses. Center field. Durant moving under this one. Pulls it in for the out. The left fielder, number three, Taylor Ward. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward. In the nope. first pitch, misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Into the monster seats and gone. He made him pay for that one. His fourth home run of the season. And they add to their lead. It's 6-0. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Cutter Crawford will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Number 63. He's into the game with the bases empty. Bases empty with two away. Now a chance for Miguel Sano. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Sano in his eighth season, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And the 1 0. Aye.
That Good one ball. not close. And it's two and one. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Two two now to 22. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Two outs. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Batted by him for the K. So it's four runs for him, four hits, no errors, and nobody left on. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Angels six and the Red Sox nothing. Bottom of the fourth at the play. Jaron Duran. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Bounced out to short. Neto. Throws the first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier oh enough. Got out in front a little bit, Tyler. rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Oh Here's Tyler O'Neill. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to third his first time up. Hey. One down, base is empty. Hit hard, that gets through. Everything came together for him. Now really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Man aboard, and here is Devers. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. I got a ball, one strike. And a strike to Devers. O'Neill leads off first with one away. Ground ball left side could be two. Sano over to second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Angels six and the Red Sox nothing. Back inside Fenway Park. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Brandon Drury. The pitch. That one pushed foul. You know, these Angels putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Right-handed reliever. That's inside. And the count, one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. So in now for the Just Angels, Joe Adele. Joe Adele. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. And another ball. High fly ball out towards left field. 
And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. His second home run of the series. And they add a run. It's 7 0. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. And oh, now, no, no, Matt Theis. And that one wrapped foul. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're at the top of the fifth. Pitch Ball. misses. Two balls and a Two strike. Balls, one strike. Inside ah. corner, and that's called a strike. Two balls. Two strike. Two two now. Three. Caught him looking for the K. And now the shortstop, the Zach Neto. Shortstop, Zach Neto. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And the righty deals. And that's in the dirt. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Up the middle. He gets there with the slide. The throw. Got him. Nice play. Angels get one with a solo homer. It's now 7-0. Back after this on the show. Back here at Fenway Leading Park, off. bottom of the, the inning. Red Here's Sox. the Boston cleanup hitter, Tristan Casas. Anderson back to work. Bounce to the right side. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. Now batting. The shortstop. Romy. And now Romy Gonzalez. His first at bat was a strikeout. And a good eye there. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. One down, base is empty. That one close, rule the ball. Now 2-0. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Two away down. The batter, number 15, designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Pablo Reyes, Reyes up next for the Red Sox. He popped out his first time. Pitch is in there, and it's 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning, number five. Now this offense has just been locked down almost five full innings of shutout baseball. One Next ball, pitch is outside. And that one almost got him. Two down, nobody on. Out to short. 
On the run, throw to first. Out number three. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Angels seven and the Red Sox nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Rangifo. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. That one at 95 missed up top. Two and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Still two and two after the foul ball. Good eye right there. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Tosses to first. Lead off man retired in the sixth. Now batting. Right fielder, Mickey Moniak. So up next, Mickey Moniak. Right. And that's in there for strike one. In the air, left field. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now better. Mike Trout hitter. will hit next. Mike. This Trout. is a true five tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Inside, oh, just missed. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. The pitch. That two one misses. One and that's ball two. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. That oh, one misses. And that's ball three. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And yeah, the batter now, Taylor Ward. Three for three, two singles, and a homer. Swings and misses. Going one. Oh, if he's going to steal second. You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And now the one just the plate, missed. One. Just oh, missed. Good. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Move to first. And he's out. And they got him. That ends the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Angels seven and the Red Sox nothing. Back here in Boston. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Masataka 
Yoshida. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Red Sox, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. The 0-2. That one gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Up next for the Red Sox. Dominant the performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. And there's the strike. Rudder at first oh, with no outs out. here. Fought off foul. And now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Nope. And now the count is even. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Two-two now. Bows it back with two strikes. pitch line to left it gets down base hit throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out back to back singles just a solid swing right there caught it out front and lifted into the outfield for the base hit those always feel great could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game now here is Sedane Rafaela clips the corner that's strike one Yoshida, the lead runner out at second. Wong on at first with nobody out. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Now batting. Center Back to the top of the lineup. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. Rangifo to second. That's Out. one. Throw to first. Safe. Now that is the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill, the next to hit. One for two. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Foul ball there. Rudders on first and third, two away here in the bottom of the sixth. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one.
That's a base hit. Run scores. Picks himself up at RBI. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. First and second, two down. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. Ball oh, one low. Damn. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. He swings and fouls one off. Two on, two outs. Just off the outside edge, and a count two and one. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. That one's in there. It's two and two. Stays alive. First and second, two down. And another ball. Three balls, two strikes to count. Fights it off, you'll see another. Kicks and fires. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. They limit the damage here. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Angels seven and the Red Sox one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Garrett Whitlock. This is his third time out this year. So now the angel cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. He's already homered in this game. Here comes a pitch. And that one sliced foul. Whitlock, a 6-5 righty. He features a sinker, a changeup, a slurb. And he works in a four-seamer. Slapped foul. And a pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Gets it to first. Oh. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting, third baseman. Miguel. Now the third baseman, Miguel Sano. Water, get your water here. Hey. It's the call, strike one. Action in the pen down there. Josh Winkowski, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Weiser, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. One down, base is empty. That misses, and it's one and two. And a swing and a miss. And two away to start the seven. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Angels, Brandon Drury. One for three. Swing and a foul straight back. The Angels up big in this one. Here at the top half of inning number seven. 
And that's in for a strike. In the air, right field, and it drops in. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. The center fielder, number seven, Joe, Joe Adele, the next Adele. to hit for the Angels. He's already homered here in this one. And nope. a good eye there. Forward. Righty delivers. That's so two ball. balls and no strikes. Drury off of first with two away. The other way. Calls it in to end the inning. Angels leave one, and they're on top seven to one. Back now at Fenway, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, the Tristan Casas. The first baseman, Tristan Casas. The wide to kick the pitch. Just missed. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Luis Garcia, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Moore, a left-hander, also throwing. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. Right through there for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. And a swing and a miss there. I think he was sitting off One speed ball, there. Two strikes. The one two got him looking throws him with the heater at the knees Romy Gonzalez up next Good for the Red Sox Romy. Gonzalez. that Aye. catches the zone for a strike one one, oh, one I really count. like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats he's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70 percent of the guys he's faced in this one here's the 0 2 the one shortstop ball. takes the ball Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven. Next That's offering ball, misses down and away. Two balls, two strikes. Three. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. Number, that thing really got in on him. You no, know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. And we're back here at Fenway Park. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the Angels catcher, Matt Theis. Whitlock back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That's the third. Devers. Jump throw. No chance to get him safe at first easily. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Neto oh, in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Nobody out. Runner at first.
Swag and a pop up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. Just misses with that one. Two two count. Two two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's the two two high fly ball down the left field line way back there and it bangs off the monster around third the relay he's safe. Oh, he's in there. Three. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Luis Rangifo digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Neto at second with nobody out. The O2 gets a piece and stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals, swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. The right fielder, number Mickey Moniak, the Mickey next to hit for the Angels. Monia. And that's in for a strike. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. Towards first, and he grabs it in foul ground. Owen oh, Chu now just Whoa, missed. Can't. And that skips in the dirt. Here's a 2-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Man at second. Three and two. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. He goes down looking. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K.
Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch misses. Runner at second, two down. That hey. one finds the corner. That's strike one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Right through there for a strike. And that's in the dirt. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. These hitters like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. He will score, and it's an eight-run lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Ward stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming up to an old account here it comes sliced hard but foul the pitch chopped to the left side and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket And here it comes. And another ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. New pitcher on now, Greg Weiser. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Miguel Sano, the next to hit for the Angels. There's the strike. Swings and misses. And it's 0 and 2. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Two outs. And ball one. Now, good job at damage control right there. They put two on the board on three hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Angels nine and the Red Sox one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Luis Garcia. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better Here ones go. in the game, well, I'd say Red spin Sox. rates very high. No and it just breaks a ton. Masataka. Yo. The pitch. Yoshida hey. leading things off and takes a strike. Hey. Strike on the outside. And a count is 0-2. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swing and a miss struck him out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. 
If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Wong in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Hunter Strickland up and loosening in the pen. And the right hander deals. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. One ball, Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. That one to first. A sliding stop. And that's a great play for the out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Rafael. Digging in, Sedane Rafaela. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That's in for a strike. through there for a strike. You know, this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Two down, nobody on. That's outside. Just misses the mark outside the zone. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. On the ground, the first. Fair ball. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Here at Fenway, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now the first baseman, Brandon Drury. And that one off the outside edge. Gets the slider in there for a strike. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Josh Winkowski, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. And a 1-1. And a foul ball. pitch keeps the at bat going with a foul ball Hits and misses it's a strikeout you know Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement now but most of the good ones have both vertical depth oh. and that horizontal oh, no. movement and that's what we saw right there good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top and now the center fielder Joe Adele Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, and one. Got him 
swinging. The batter. Matt Thikes, the next to hit for the Angels. Misses off the inside. Ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. And that one missing low. Pitch misses, and a count is three and one. And that's in for a strike. I got three and two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Nothing across here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Angels nine and the Red Sox one. We head to the bottom Leading of the ninth. Off. Now here's the, the Red, Red Sox, Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. And the pitch. That one out to right. Long run. Grabs it on the run. One down. The batter. The right. And hit. now it's going to be Tyler O'Neill. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. First oh, offering and it just misses. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. His seventh home run of the season. It's 9 2. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So one out, nobody on. Here's Rafael Devers. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. And Devers hits that one. That's down, one hops off the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, throw is offline, and he's got a double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now at the plate, Tristan Casas. 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Puts it in the air out towards left center, sizing this one up, and it's caught for the out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders the get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. Now it's the shortstop, Romy Gonzalez. Swings over the top of that one. This guy's got oh, such a good count. sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt.
The Red Sox down to their final strike. Nope. That, that one missing time. inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Oh, when you win by seven runs, it's a real encouraging game all the way around. The hitters feel good about what they did in this one, but the pitchers also know that if they get into a little bit of a jam, they know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.